I think we can look at that as across the pipeline, uh, right from entry into uh, the into STEM, right through to retention and being leaders in the STEM in the STEM industry. I think the com most common mis misconception is around interest. I think if you find if you look at young children, there's no difference. We're, girls are just as interested in science as, as boys. So the question is, at what point do we start externally putting those signals through to them that, oh, you're not naturally good at this, and, and how, how is that internalized? Right through to then uh, how we encourage um, that participation and uh, staying with the interest in higher education. Right through then to the postgraduate right through to leadership and looking at the different ch challenges at each step of the way is important to actually retain uh, women in, in STEM industry and that varies from um, signals from teachers through to um, non-flexible work environments later on in life.